Hi guys, welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe, and today we're going to be learning how to make homemade Cheez Its. So, if you guys don't know what those are, uh, you probably don't, then today you're going to learn. So, if you're watching this right now, it's live, and the first two minutes are reserved for Verbling Premium users and also people with reservations. I don't think anybody has a reservation for today. But if you're wondering how do I get reservations, I'm going to show you real quick. They're very easy to get. So if you look at my screen, and this is probably this is what you're looking at right now. So this button's blue, and after the first two minutes, you'll it'll be yellow, and you'll be able to join. Now to get reservations, to and to also be able to join right now, go over here and click, click get reservations. And you can see here's to upgrade to Verbling Premium. Um, you can follow that. It's got some information right here. And then also, here's the easiest way. Oh. Hello, Rosie. Hi, yo. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Fine, thank you. Um, I have a new friend, and I told her that she can log, us, log with us. Really awesome. Yeah. That's that's so cool. All right. Well, tell her hello. Um it's great. All right. I'm just explaining right now how other people can get reservations. So the way it works is if you look at this page, what I did was I clicked on invite friends. Now I think this is the easiest way because you take this link, copy it, and you can share it on Facebook, Twitter, you can send it to your friends. All they have to do is click on it, open it up, sign up for Verbling, and then you get a free reservation. So it's a really easy way if you'd like to get a space in this class. For example, um, or, or the, the reason why you want those is because the classes only have nine spots. So Rosie is the first one here. Oh, we have Eric now. Eduardo. Okay, so we have some people joining. Hi, guys. And we have 22 people watching right now, so hopefully you guys get a spot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. So there's one more spot left for anybody that's watching still. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So maybe somebody will join in a second. But otherwise, hi guys. Welcome to Verbling. My name's Joe. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. And today we're going to be learning how to make homemade Cheez Its. So the first question is, do any of you guys know what Cheez-Its are? No, not really. No? Okay. No. Anybody? Any ideas? No ideas. Okay. All right. Well, that's okay. Matthew's kind of close. He said cheese something. Yes, it has to do with cheese. Now I'm going to pull up my screen and show you. Cheez-Its are, it's, well, it's a brand in the United States, but it's a snack that's pretty common. Um, uh, and they're actually really good. So it's basically baked cheese. So these are what they look like when you buy them. I don't know. Can you guys see this? These are Cheez-Its. So it's just cheese with salt. You can see and they're baked and they're really good so it's a really good snack so here's the brand and if you guys didn't know in the United States we tend to call things by the brand name so in this case it's Cheez-It so they're really good uh, I think a box might cost two dollars or something um, but they have different flavors they have hot and spicy 
They have Parmesan cheese. I think you can see right here. Okay. Oh, never mind. You can't see. Anyways, they have different flavors. They're really good. And today, we're going to learn how to make them. So it's really easy. Um, you don't need a lot of ingredients. And it takes about an hour or so. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys the recipe that we're going to be looking at today. I'm going to post it here in the verb link chat over there. So if you click on that, you'll be able to see the recipe as we go through it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. So we're here in my kitchen, and we're going to be making these Cheez-Its. So I'm going to set you guys right over here. And you guys will be able to see exactly what I'm doing. Alright, there we go. Okay. So, um, I'm going to pull you guys down a little bit click on my screen and I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients that we're going to be using today so we've got um, cayenne pepper so this is just a, a type of pepper so this is gonna give it some flavor we've got I've also got some other um, spices these are called spices so this is lemon pepper seasoning and I thought, hey, it smells good. Why not add it? If you guys can uh, smell that, it smells pretty good. We've got some just regular black pepper and some red pepper. So I grabbed these because I want these to be really good. Um, the next thing, another uh, a tool, I guess you could say, that we're going to be using is this food processor, or also, as you guys might know, a blender. So this is going to be mixing up everything for us. So we've got that right there. Um, and the next thing, our other ingredient, is this right here, which this is flour. So we need this to make the dough. OK. Can everybody hear me still? <laughs> Yes, okay, just double checking. Okay, the last thing that we need is butter, which I'm going to grab out of the fridge. Here we go. Okay, so this is the last ingredient butter. So it's not a lot of ingredients. Uh, there's also salt, which I didn't mention, but um, we'll also be adding that, which I have right here. I have some sea salt. So I don't know if you guys can see, because there we go. Okay. Got some sea salt as well. Okay. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is mix all of these ingredients into a bowl. So I'm going to grab a bowl. Um, from up here and we're going to mix the dough so basically like I said this is just baked cheese this is a really good snack it's really easy to make and you'll probably love it um, and since you guys haven't uh, most of you I don't think they sell cheese it's in other countries I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that um, but most of you haven't had it. It's a really easy snack to make, and it's really good. So, um, first thing we're going to do, um, actually, it says to preheat the oven, but we're not going to do that because we need to let the dough get cold and kind of stay together. So we're going to be putting it in the freezer for 30 minutes. So I'm not going to preheat the oven yet. Um, but what we're going to do first is mix all of the ingredients up. So here I've got my bowl and you miss all that picture? Yes. Question.
Hello? No, con no, no, continue, teacher. I only, I only said you will mix up all the ingredients. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's super simple. So the first ingredient that we're gonna put in here is flour. So it says put in one cup of flour. Um, so I'm gonna grab a measuring. So here, this is called a measuring cup. Measuring, measuring cup. So that might be measuring new to you. So cup. so if it is, just repeat it after me. Measuring cup. Measuring cup. There you go. Uh huh. So it says one cup, and if you see here, you probably can't see because of the glare, but it says one fourth. So I'm gonna need four of these to get one cup. So one, two, three, and last four. So there we've got our flour. So I'll set that on the side. We'll move this over here. Okay, the next ingredient is four tablespoons of butter. Does anybody know what a tablespoon is? Any ideas what a tablespoon is? Is a the well, it's different from the teaspoon. It's more, it's bigger than the teaspoon, you know? Yes, exactly, exactly. You're exactly right. So we use, we have a tablespoon and a teaspoon. So this says we want four tablespoons of cold butter. And it says cut into small pieces, not melted. So um, here we've got, I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, I, my camera has a weird glare, and I'm not sure how to get rid of it. But um, this is four tablespoons of butter. And I don't know, you guys probably can't see, but there are markings on it that say tablespoons. So we have one, two, three, four. So what I'm going to do is just cut this up. Um, with a knife, and we're going to put it in with the dough. So, I've got my knife and my butter. Now I'm just going to cut this up, um, and we're going to place this in here, just like that. So, it says small pieces, and the reason for that is because you don't want chunks of butter in here. You want them to be small, and a chunk of butter would be this, for example, this is a chunk. So if I just put this in there, that would be a chunk. We don't want that. We want them kind of small, so I'm just kind of breaking these up with my fingers, as you can see. We've got two pieces here. So I'm just cutting them up, breaking them like this, breaking them, and throwing them in. Just like that. So um, just going to finish this up, and then we'll be adding in the next ingredient. So, does everybody here like cheese? I know some people don't. Yes, I like cheese. Yeah. Um, like and it's not healthy for me. You love yeah, cheese? Yeah, cheese is, is delicious. Good, good, good. Okay, so if you guys love cheese, then this is a perfect snack because it's just cheese um, with butter, flour, some other ingredients, as you'll see. And it's just baked, so it's it's really good. Um, and I I found this recipe, or I thought of this because I my my roommate and I at the university we bought cheese its, and I thought, oh, these are kind of expensive. Maybe maybe there's a way to make them. So I looked up the recipe, and I made them with my girlfriend, and we thought they were pretty good. So I thought I would show you guys how to make them because. Most, I guess they don't sell Cheez-Its in other countries, which I didn't know that until I asked some people in a, a, a previous class. So it's a really simple recipe, and they're really delicious. Okay, so we, as you can see, we've added the butter. So we've got the butter and the flour. Now we're going to add the next ingredient, which is... Actually, I forgot to grab this ingredient. This is the most important ingredient, the cheese. <laughs> v 
voila, the cheese. Okay, so it says cheddar cheese, and here, this is, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says Mexican style. So it's got shredded Monterey, Jack, mild cheddar, queso, quesadilla, and asadero cheeses. So it's just a blend of cheeses. This is what you would call a blend of cheeses. So it says 8 ounces. Now this bag is 32 ounces. So I've used about half of it. So that means I have probably 16 here. So I'm going to use half of this. Now most of the time you can buy cheese in 8 ounce bag bags, which I should have done. But I figured, hey, we have cheese, so I might as well do this. So I'm going to try and measure this as best as I can. And the more cheese, the cheesier it's going to be, which is always good. Uh, especially if you love cheese, which I do. So I'm just throwing that in there. And I would say that's that's probably about half of what was in there. Um, and obviously if you use too much or too, too little, then your Cheez-Its will be affected. But it's it's hard to, to judge that in the pre-baking process. So our next ingredient is 3 4th teaspoon of salt. So Rosie, you mentioned this before. Uh, you said there's a, a tablespoon is bigger than a teaspoon. So I'm going to grab my measuring spoon, which spoons which are right here, because I used them yesterday. Okay. So we've got. I'm going to show you guys the difference. We've got a tablespoon right here. So this is a tablespoon, and right here we have. A teaspoon. Does everybody see that? So if you want to see them, compare them. This is them. Tablespoon, teaspoon. So it asks us to put in three fourths uh, teaspoon of salt. So um, thankfully, I have a one fourth teaspoon of salt right here so I'm gonna put in three of these so we're gonna do sea salt which you don't have to you can do regular salt but sea salt tends to be a little bit better so I'm gonna try and get this in here as best as I can and you want to add, you want to make sure you get the salt right because otherwise it may not taste as good because these are meant to be a salty snack rather than a, a sweet snack so I just kind of poured that out, but um, maybe we'll we'll use the regular salt because that way we know that we're more accurate. So I'm just gonna pour this in here. So this is called a salt shaker, just in case you didn't know that. Many of you probably have this salt shaker. So I'm gonna try and get this in there. I put in about one fourth teaspoon. So this is going to be the second fourth, and the recipe asks us for three. So there's the second one, and now here's the last one. So I, I know I'm spilling, which is okay, because salt is easy to clean up, um, and I have a lot of it, so it's okay. All right, so there. There's our third teaspoon. Now the next ingredient that the recipe asks us for is cayenne pepper. Now this recipe is pretty simple and you can mix it up however you'd like. But um, make sure to include the right amount of cayenne pepper. So it asks us for one fourth teaspoon. So this measurement right here. So I'm going to scoop it out. And you can, I don't know if you guys can see, it's red. And I'm going to add that in there. There we go. So that's going to give it a lot of flavor. Now, the rest of this stuff, this, I guess you could call, you could say that this is Joe's style of the Cheez-Its, the homemade Cheez-Its. So I'm going to add some, like I said before, lemon pepper seasoning, which smells pretty good. So I'm not going to add a lot, just 
sprinkle it around a little bit, which that's what this motion is. The verb that I'm doing here is sprinkling. Kind of like rain, sprinkle. So we're also going to add a little bit of red pepper. Not a lot because I don't want them to be too spicy, but a, a little bit. So just a tad. There we go. And maybe a little bit of black pepper. So we're adding a lot of pepper to this. But I think this is why it'll taste very good. And I was thinking about adding lemon juice. What do you guys think? Should I add lemon juice or no? I'm not too sure. Yeah, yeah why not? What do you guys think? Any thoughts? Anybody? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Hello? Yeah, we're here. Hello, anybody there? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Can you guys hear yes, me? I, I think you should have. Hello, teacher. I am here. The, I am uh, listening to you, teacher. Can you guys hear me? I feel like I've been... Yes. I am, I am, I'm listening to you, teacher. Can anybody in the class hear me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, teacher. Can we anybody can hear say you? yes? I see you guys right here. Yes. Cause I can't, I can't hear you guys. Maybe something's wrong. Yeah, Did anybody we, try we, saying yes? Yes. Yeah. Like actually saying. Yes. It. You guys are yes. shouting. Oh boy. Okay. Let me double check it to uh, make sure. Oh no. Okay. So I think phone is still working but the audio is not working so what I'm gonna do is close the chat and open it back up and it should work Okay, let's try this again. I'm afraid that it may not be working. Dang it. Okay. Okay, wait. Can you guys say yes one more time? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hello? Yes. All right, I'm not sure what's going on. It's good that you guys can hear me, but I don't know why I can't hear you. It may be my headphones. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to try closing it again, and I'm going to open it back up. So I will be back in one second. He's, uh, he's fixing his uh, microphone. Back. Yeah, there he is now. Okay. Can you guys hear me? The teacher is back. Yes. Teacher okay. is back. Okay, can Hi, you teacher. hear me? Now? Can you hear me, teacher? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now, okay. So, whew, sorry about that, guys. I don't know. It, it was probably my headphones. They're new, and sometimes they don't work. Okay, so um, I'm assuming that you guys were probably saying yes or no, but I said, should I add this lemon juice? What do you guys think? Do you think this would go well with the 
the cheese or no? I think you should. You think I should? Okay, we'll add a few drops. Let's. So <clears throat> this is what it looks like. Um, let me uh, click. There we go. Okay. So, okay, Matthew says no. And so I'll, okay, I'm gonna add a few drops. I'm gonna just see, because I mean, it's it's all about experimenting. That's what cooking's about. So just a little, zero. just a little. Okay, okay. Just for flavor. Just for flavor. So I think that's all of our ingredients. I'm gonna double check. Oh, actually, it says add a few tablespoons of water. Now that's so everything can mix up. So. I'm gonna come over here to the sink. I'll show you guys. And add a few tablespoons of water. Now this is the part that you have to kind of experiment with. Because you don't want to add too much water, uh, but you don't want to add too little water because then it'll be too thick. So I think my girlfriend and I added three or four. So you kind of just have to experiment with this. Um, Let's see. And also, just in case you guys didn't know, this is called the sink. Sink. Where the water is. And this this is called a faucet. Right here where the water comes out is the faucet. So I'll write those. Because you might not. Those might be new words to you. Faucet and sink. Okay. So, um, as you guys can see, we've got all of our ingredients here. Now we're going to mix these up. So like I said, you're going to do some experimenting with the water. Because, um, I don't know, let's, I'm going to bring you guys closer so you guys can see. Um, so it's still this darn glare I don't know how to get rid of. But um, it's still pretty thick. So I'm going to probably have to add a good amount of water. Because remember, we're doing this, we're mixing all these ingredients together because we want it to be a dough. Now if you don't know what dough is, it's it's basically ingredients that are mixed together into something that you can shape and transform, which is the dough. So I'm going to add some more water. And also keep in mind too, if you do add too much, I'm going to just, we're going to add a fourth a cup of water. Because we need. I think we need a lot of water. And just keep in mind that if you have add too much water, you can always add more flour to um, thicken it. So we're just mixing this together. Now it's going to look like not all the ingredients are mixed together into dough, which is okay, because we're mixing this together in the bowl to kind of get it a little bit mixed together, but then to really get it into dough and all the way mixed together, we're going to put it in the blender. Um, which is this thing. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to show you guys. So, if you see, it's still not all the way mixed together, so I'm going to add a little bit more water. Um, I've probably added four teaspoons and half a cup, just in case any of you guys are wondering. Um, but you just want to mix this up as best as you can. And if you don't want to do it by hand, you can obviously just put it all in the blender. Um, but mixing it up beforehand is going to help a little bit because you don't want it to get stuck. Or you don't want the ingredients to get stuck. Okay, so this is kind of mixed up. Um, the, at least the flour is, is sticking to the cheese and everything else. So... I'm just going to stick this in the blender. Um, so, what you're going to want to do next is put all of this in here. So, I'm going to try and be as careful as possible and not spill it. Um, but don't worry, this is okay for your blender. I know you probably wouldn't normally put cheese in a blender. I wouldn't either. Um, but this is going to um, mix it all up completely so just kind of shake this in here put this in here as best you can and then we're gonna be mixing it up so nobody hears has anybody heard of Cheez-Its or, or does it look familiar sound familiar 
Well, I think I saw a cookie similar. Well, here in Mexico we have a cracker. A cracker? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's with cheese. Uh huh. Um, it looks similar. Okay. Is it? Um, what part of Mexico are you from? Well, I am from Tamaulipas. Okay. I hold on one sec. Okay. Hello, see, you are from Sinaloa. Okay, w where did you say you're from? Is Rosie is from Sinaloa. Sinaloa. No, I am no? from Tamaulipas. Uh, oh. Under Texas. Ah, okay, under Texas. Okay, okay. I am in the frontier with Texas. You okay. are in the border. The border. Yeah. Border. Ah, okay. The reason I was asking is because this Friday I'm going to Mexico. Oh, cool. Where are, yeah. Where are you going? Uh, Puerto Penasco. Oh, cool. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going with friends. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to move this bowl so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, so, I'm just putting this on the blender, and we're going to turn it on. Okay. Now, what I want to do, what I want to do is blend this, and then talk to you guys on the side, but I'm, you could call it, a, it's a blender. Um, but what I'm worried about is that it might be too loud. So we're gonna see if we're out, if we can talk over this. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Yeah, we hear can you. Hear, you can hear me. Okay, okay. Um, now the blend. Okay, <clears throat> so it's pretty thick still, which is normal. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water. <clears throat> because this is going to allow it to um, really mix. And Why like I said, don't you if, put in different parts? Put, what do you mean? Yeah. Um, keep like, some... like, like take some out? Yeah, take some out. Okay, okay, fine. We'll, we'll try that, okay. That sounds like a good idea. Because this might be too much. You're right. Okay, so we'll... We'll pull some out a little bit, um, just that much. Okay. Isn't that your first time? Did you doing this, teacher? No, this is the second time, and I thought that wouldn't be too much, but I think Rossi's right. I think it was a little bit too much. This is my second time, second time making this. So I've made this before, and it was actually pretty good. I had multiple people tell me. Um, okay, so we're going to try this. Now the other thing is, this isn't the best blender. I think it was a cheap blender, but okay. You guys probably can't see, but it's starting to move at the bottom, right here. So I'm going to be very careful. Open this up, and we're going to uh, move it around a little bit. Teacher, try to to not kill you. <laughs> uh, what was that? <laughs> try, try what? Okay, try so to not kill you. Don't, don't worry, I won't kill myself. I've done this before. Okay. So this is pretty uh, gooey, which is what we want. Um, I wish I could show you guys. But, well, let's see if I can. So it's pretty gooey, pretty doughy. We're going to try and put it on for a little bit longer. Don't worry, I won't kill myself. I'll keep the lid on this time. Okay. Um, did you <laughs> have a question? Yes, question. Um, the pepper that you put in, in the uh, mixture is the same pepper of the pizza that we put in the pizza? Sorry, I couldn't hear you because the blender was too loud. Okay. Um, the pepper yeah, that you that's... put in the mixer um, is the same pepper that we use with the pizza. Uh, the the ingredient flour. This. No, the pepper. The pepper. Ah, yes. You yeah you put yeah a lot of people put crushed red peppers on pizza. 
Yeah, that's my question. <laughs> yes, uh-huh, exactly. Yeah, you're Thank right. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay, now if you guys are thinking this is really difficult, it's not. I just don't have a good blender. But, okay, it's mixing. So I'm going to say, we're going to say that this, this, uh, this part's done. So I'm going to put, um, I'm going to start it with uh, the next step, which is putting it on what's called parchment paper. So you can see, this is called parchment paper. Now I don't know exactly what it is because I've I haven't used it that much, but I'm gonna rip some off because what we're gonna do is put it um, on this parchment paper and we're gonna freeze it because we want it to be extra nice. We want it to be cold because um, you don't want it to break apart. So we're going to knock it out. So, okay, this looks perfect. I think it's really thicker. It, yeah, it is pretty thick. Um, now you want to be careful. You don't want to cut your fingers on the, uh, the, the blender. Okay, this, <laughs> this got really... I don't know if you guys can <laughs> tell. It's, it's very sticky. But um, it got stuck in there, which is good. It's good. Now, I'm going to tilt the camera down so you guys can see what it looks like. That was too far? Okay. So, if I turn the parchment paper, so this is what it looks like. So, it's it, it's dough, which is good. Now, what we're going to do is wrap it up, and we're going to put it in the freezer. Now, you want you you're putting we're putting it in the freezer because we want it to get cold and we want the dough to kind of basically um, not expand uh, but kind of collapse and stay together. So I'm gonna go put this in the freezer because you you wanted to put it in the freezer for 30 minutes. Um, that way it gets nice and hard and it sticks together, and then you can cook it. So. Um, I'm going to put this in the freezer. And we're going to put the rest of this in the blender and mix this up. So as you guys can see, I'm just doing the exact same thing. I'm going to mix it up. Um, and then we're going to put it on parchment paper and put it in, in the freezer. And then after 30 minutes, um, so what time is it right now? 7.40 where I am. So after that, then you cook it for, I think the, I think it said about 20 minutes. Um, yeah, I think about 20 minutes, and that's it. So, I'll, I'll, sh we'll walk through the recipe after I blend this last part. Okay, so this part makes pretty well. Um, I actually don't think I need to add water to it because it's not as thick. So we're going to take it out, put it on parchment paper, and then now I'm having trouble with the parchment paper. Um, so I'm going to cut it. But we're going to put this on parchment paper as well. And then put it in the freezer, and then we'll walk through the rest of the recipe. Because it's really simple. The next thing you're going to do, um, I'll show you guys in one second. Okay. So I'm just hitting that out. Bang. This action that I'm doing right now is just banging the blender, or hitting the blender. Getting that dough out. Okay. Make an effort. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got it all mixed up, so this is dough, what I was talking about before. So it's going to be really easy to fold into um, shape. So I'm going to put this in the freezer.
Okay, so so that's it for um, that part of the recipe. Now what we're going to do is look at the rest of the recipe so I can show you guys um, what you're going to be doing after that. So, give me one sec. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and we're going to look at the rest of the recipe. Uh, so, um, this was on instructables.com, which is a good website for learning how to do things. So, that's basically what we did. We chopped up the ingredients, chopped up the butter, mixed it, then we put it in our food processor, which was a blender. Um, then, um, it kind of looks like that. So that's the dough. So it says, um, they, they used uh, plastic wrap. I used parchment paper. It doesn't really matter. Um, and freeze for at least 30 minutes. So it's 7.45 now, so in 30 minutes I'll get it, and then I can cook it. Okay. Um, so then, what we're gonna, what you do afterwards, is you put it on the parchment paper. Which here they have tin foil, um, which they don't, they they suggest not using, and I didn't use it because you're not supposed to. I used parchment paper. So what you're gonna do is roll out this thing right here. It's called a roller. So you're gonna roll out the dough. And you want to make it pretty thin, and um, I think it gives you a recommendation. No, okay. But basically, you want to make it pretty thin, and then what you're going to do is cut it up into squares or whatever shapes you want. You could do, you could use cookie cutters and make hearts and gingerbread men and t and trees or whatever you want. Hearts. Um, hearts. Yeah, sure. I don't. I don't think I have any cookie cutters, which if you're wondering what a cookie cutter is, it looks like this. Like if we type in heart. These things are called cookie cutters. Cookie cutter. So here's one of a heart. I don't have any, but you could do you could use whatever you want and make your, your cheese its in whatever shapes you want. They suggest doing squares, because that's what the original ones are made of. When I did it, I made circles and, and rectangles and other things, but you can do whatever. And now, um, and before you bake it, it says sprinkle a little bit of salt on, which is a good idea. And then you bake it at 350, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes until the bottoms are golden brown. Um, and then afterwards, they'll look something like this. And that's it. You eat them just like a snack. They're really good. So, um, uh, teacher, what is a uh, good mm, where with what do you accompany the um, cheese? -its? What is the food that I'm comparing these cheese its with? Yeah. So I'll I'll pull it up again. It's um. It's I don't know. It's hard to explain because Cheez-Its. Because in the United States, we call things by their brand name. So Cheez-Its are their cracker uh, made of cheese. And instead of buying a box of them, this recipe is to make them at your house. Yeah, so, but. The question, I think you don't understand me. Okay, you know, okay. Sorry. No, that's uh, okay. With what do you accompany them? With what am I comparing? Co accompany. Um, she said, teacher, what other thing do you use for it then? Together. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, combining. No, no. combining. Combining, combining. Uh, yes, okay, okay, okay. Um, so what are the, okay, thank you, that was Eric, right? Thank you, Eric. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, so what would you combine them with? What do you guys think? I don't know, they're made out of cheese. What would you combine Maybe with Maybe Coca-Cola? Sure, why not? You could do with soda. Um, when I eat them, what do I, I usually just eat them on their, on their own. I, I don't usually eat them, because it's kind of like 
the the regular cheese sticks it's just a snack so you would grab a box from your pantry and just eat them just like plain i guess you could say or not not with anything you could watch Lanentino said you could watch a cool movie and eat them that's a good idea instead of popcorn they're just kind of a snack a snack meaning you you don't really eat them with other things it's not like you wouldn't eat this for dinner this is not something for dinner or lunch it's just a snack so it's it's like chips it's picadera in spanish what what is it picadera 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 okay it's just like that means, pretzels yeah just exactly exactly diego it's uh it's just like pretzels you don't eat them with anything you could eat them with mustard or or some kind of sauce but cheese it's you just eat them with whatever oh i spelled that wrong picadera okay Picadera. Okay. Yeah, so it's just a snack. So it's it's something cool. Um, something you could take, like, for example, with you to work or to class or wherever. Um, so we have about 10 minutes left, and they're not going to be done in time for you guys to see me cut them up and put them in the oven. So I just want to – you could put mayonnaise or ketchup on them. Yes, you could do that, Laura. Um, but I just want to spend the last 10 minutes – uh, talking about snacks. So, w what are some snacks that you guys make at your home, that you cook at your house, or some snacks that you buy at the store? So, any any kind of snacks that you guys eat? I make French toast, but I, I, I don't know if that's a snack or not. I don't think French so. French toast? No, I, I – well, you could. I, I think French toast is really good. I, I like eating that for breakfast. Um, I guess it's kind of a snack. I mean it depends. If you just make it randomly, you could call it a snack. So yeah, that counts. Okay. Anybody else? Have you ever preferred Italian food? Italian, ooh, well, okay, but what about some snacks? Olives. Olives, olives are good. Black olives. With cheese, too. no green. <laughs> green olives with cheese. Ah, okay, all right. That'd be good. Any others? Well, I like popcorn with cheese, melted cheese. What? What, what are they? Popcorn. Popcorn with, with cheese. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, that sounds really good. I don't think I've ever had that. I've had cheese popcorn, as in popcorn that's cheese flavored, um, but not like cheese with popcorn. So do you just melt it on? Yeah. Okay. Well, I like to put the cheese of the nacho. Oh, with nacho. With my cheese. pork popcorn. Okay, I've never had that. That sounds really good, though. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, really tasty. Mm, I bet. Okay. All right. Any others? Kri kri. What was that? Any other snacks? Not not all of you guys have spoken. Pizza. What, pizza. what was? Uh, pizza. Pizza. What's that? Pizza. 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 <laughs> well, pizza. Pizza. Okay. Okay. Pizza. Oh, pizza is a really good snack. I love pizza anytime. What about? Okay, you guys. A lot of you guys are Spanish speakers, so you might make fun of me for this. What about? Taquitos. Oh my God, taquitos are delicious. Or I spelled that wrong. Where, where is taquitos? Teaching? I spelled that wrong. I spelled that wrong. Taquitos. Taquitos. Uh, tacos. Tacos. No, taquitos. Taquitos. Taquitos yes. in Spanish. Uh, taquitos. Exactly. <laughs> what is that? Taqu taquitos. Maybe it's. I think it's an American thing. Let's. I'm gonna show you guys some pictures because it's. It's like, like 
It's an American thing, I think. So here, let's see. These are taquitos. Oh, they're my favorite, too. They're the best snack ever. They look like this. I like chicharrines. Chicharrines. What are those? <laughs> uh, it's look, look like a egg roll. Yeah, they do look like egg rolls. Chichar chicharrines. Rines. There we go. Well, here, here in my town, we call it fry, um, fried uh, taquitos. Fried tacos. Fried tacos. Fried tacos. Oh, okay. Tacos fritos. We call it tacos dorados. It's, it's just like uh, the Mexican tacos, but it's wrapped in fried. Yeah. The tortilla is crunchy. It's not soft, it's crunchy. Uh huh. Ah, okay, okay. So, do you eat, Diego, do you eat that in Costa Rica? Yes, I am. Yeah, okay, okay. All right. All right. Any any other snacks? What about do you guys like fruit snacks? Do you guys know what those are? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you, With you chamoy. like those? Chamoy. Chamoy. It. Hmm. Acid pepper with lemon. It's Acid. kind of. Pepper with lemon. Uh, let me show you. Okay. All right. While she's pulling that up, I'll show you guys uh, fruit snacks. Oh, these are these. These are really good. Yeah, they're like just. Candy. Yeah, they're kind of like candy, but they're. You wouldn't get. You wouldn't count. Like you wouldn't call them candy. They're a snack. Yes, there's there is a lot of sugar, but they're really good. Some of them have some fruit juice, or at least they say they do. I don't know if they actually do. Like here, they say 100%. Oh, just kidding. It says 100% vitamin C, not 100% fruit juice. But they're they're really good. They're kind of like gummies. Oh, gummy bears are my favorite. This is candy. But okay, let's see if fruit fruit snacks are kind of like gummy bears. Yes, Diego. They're they're pretty similar. Um like they, they taste kind of the same. Okay, let's see. I think Rosie has it up. Okay. So what is this, Rosie? This is called chamoy. It's kind of spicy but with a lot of lemon. It's mm, bitter. But Bitter. it really is delicious. I really like this. Mm. Oh, and another. It's an apple with a um, mixture of um, thick chamoy. And you put it in the freeze uh -huh. with a. Um, well, it's really delicious. It's the it entire apple. Oh. You take well, an entire apple? It. Yeah. Um, with a lot of chamoy. Let me show you something. Okay, okay. Mm. There is it. All right. Manzana con chamoy. Oh, you know oh, what this makes delicious. me This makes me think of a uh, caramel apple. Do you guys know what that is? Yeah. Caramel apple. Oh, these are so good. I've only had one in my entire life, but they're so good. They're so delicious. Or just chocolate. Because you just take like a green apple which is kind of sour, a little bit, a little bit bitter. And then you put caramel, so it's sweet and sour. It's so delicious. I spelled it wrong. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. That's kind of similar. Any other snacks or, or just f desserts? I guess we've kind of moved into desserts. A bar of chocolate. Well, a bar of chocolate. 
Oh, you know what's you know what's cool is comparing the brands that we have. Like, okay, so Lanantino said Snickers. What about what about what about Three Musketeers? Do you guys have that? Three Musketeers? No, yeah. I never tried it. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, you have to. That's like my favorite candy bar ever. Here, I'll show you a picture. Um, sure. Oh, Three Musketeers candy. There we go. Okay. Oh, it looks like this. It's so good. It's the chocolate is inside is fluffy. Ah, oh, it's delicious. Well, no, I never saw it. Really? It, see, like I think that's cool comparing what kind of candy I have in my country or or somebody else has in their country compared to somebody else. Just comparing candies, it's really cool. Do you guys? What about Reese's? I think. Ah, uh, Reese's, yes. Reese's, yes. What about the rest of you guys, right? Reese's? In Costa Rica, we have a sort of Snickers, but it's filled with ice cream. And it's called Meal. Meal? Meal. Okay, but it's it's kind of like Snickers. Meal like, like mine. Meal like mine. It's oh, like oh, um, oh, 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 oh. a Snickers okay. bar filled with ice cream. Can you imagine? Oh. No, I cannot. Awesome. That sounds so good. Meal. Oh, I wish. My. I wish I could try some. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, I couldn't find it. How do you say? How would I find it? Would would I type in chocolate bar meal or meal chocolate bar? Diego. Wait, is this a Diego? Yes. I, think I, I think I found a chocolate. Maggie Old Meal. Come on, spell it. It's like M M M. Oh. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. I'm gonna put it right there on the chat. Get it? There we go. Yeah, let's see if I can find it. I just wanted to see what it looks like. Mio. Okay. Oh, that looks so good. Let us see what it looks like. Here, here, I'll, I'll post Please. it. Up to you. Yeah. Is that it? Is that it, Diego? Yes, right there. Ah, it's beyond boy. amazing. Ah, I, I want to try it. One day, one day I'm going to try it. You should. <laughs> I will. I will one day. I'll find it. I'll look for it. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of the class. Uh, thank you guys for coming. Thank you for listening, participating, and I will post a picture after the cheeses are done so you guys can see how they turned out. I'll post a picture on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Joe Verbling. So go to that page, hit like, and then you'll get updates. And I'll also post my class schedules um, and just some other fun things. So go like that, and then you'll see the Cheez-Its. And that's it. Thank you guys for coming. I hope you guys have a good night. Thank you. See you, teacher. Thanks, guys. See you. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Thanks for the glass. Thank you very much. See ya.